the video you've all been waiting for, the iPod 7 challenge. I will be using this device for a week. I actually tried to make this video a while ago, but the problem was I didn't record enough. I forgot kind of about it, and then I accidentally used my phone a little bit, so I'm just not gonna post that one. School's about to start soon. It's only in a couple days, so I'll be able to use this thing at school and tell you how that is. I'll just have to make sure I fill up the content uh, at with afternoon content from three o'clock onward. That's when I get home from school. Why do you gotta ruin everything school? Anyways, let's just start this thing. I'm not looking forward to it because I have to be connected to Wi-Fi all the time to text anything or anyone, and using an iPod Touch is not going to make that easy. So what I'm gonna need to do is connect to the school's Wi-Fi to be able to send texts and stuff, which is what I'm gonna need to do anyways with any place that I need to go to, or else this isn't going to work. So yeah, the same rules apply with the iPod 6 challenge. If you haven't seen that, then go watch it. It'll be in the info card up there. So I'm back from a haircut, as you can see here, of course. It's a haircut I had one last time, too. I will be having to do this challenge over school today and tomorrow. I don't have it, but later this week I will. <sighs> so, yeah, that's going to be annoying. Hopefully it's not too difficult to record. I'll have to record afterwards and then tell you about the experience because I can't record during school, obviously. But just need to eat lunch now, and then I'll be going out with my dad for groceries. So, nice. Yes, I know I said I wouldn't do this. It is 8.04 right now, and I'm sorry, but I was really busy with stuff. So just to explain to you what we had to do since school is starting back up very soon. Okay, there's some bags and things there. But since school is starting up very soon, this used to be my old... Okay, stop getting off track. Since school is starting very soon, and only a couple days, it's going to be my sophomore year. It's going to be fun. I have to... I had to get quite a bit of stuff ready, and then later, uh, I'll flip the camera and show you. Um, I finished setting up my old Mac, this old whitey plastic thing. I'm gonna be buying an aluminum high Sierra, like MacBook Pro or whatever. And I made it this computer, or I made it, whoops. I now made it their main desktop computer, as you can see down here. So yeah, it runs very nicely, actually. I was very happy about that. And I quit the app store quick. But yeah, it runs very nice. It's my 2010 MacBook. I just need to figure out where to put this thing and then we'll figure other stuff out once we get there. Yeah, I just had to configure things. Oh, that's not, um, that's not great. <laughs> So I just needed to configure stuff. I'm downloading some apps for them. I'm downloading some apps for them down here. I've got iMovie on there. They've been interested in that kind of stuff. And then I've got GarageBand. So yeah, I got a bunch of that in there so they can mess with that when they want to. I've got their, oh, thank you, it's telling me it's done. I've got their email, uh, wherever that went, here it is, set up as well. I've got quite a bit of things set up here for them. And this is my schedule here for school. I just need to make sure this goes into the trash here. <laughs> There we go. So yeah, that's why I haven't been upload or uploading. That's why I've been recording today, mainly because there's nothing to record. So yeah. Something that I've been meaning to record and that I haven't yet, or edit, I mean, is I need to. There's a Windows 10 privacy video that will be coming out soon. And you can see I've got these computers here. These are computers I will be selling or maybe keeping. I'm not sure yet. And then there's the base computer. I'm gonna try to get this Mac Mini here. I just need to plug it in and get all that stuff set up. So I do want to get this Mac Mini up and running here and just get Mac OS and stuff set up on there. This is an old 2007. I've got it up to El Cap. I actually did record that on my old iPod 7 video that I will be scrapping. Might show a clip of it here. I might not. But I was. It would. It took me a couple weeks to get this thing working on El Cap. Tan. It was just a nightmare. Ugh, I hated it so much. This is a Windows 7 computer. I was trying to put Debian on here, uh, although I may give up with that because it's just being a huge pain in the butt. And that's a DOS computer there. This runs Windows 7. I think I mentioned that already. I'm still trying to figure out where to put this thing. I think it's going to sit there, but I don't really have many cables left for stuff. I was planning on buying a USB switcher that lets me like push a button and switch the keyboard from here to here. It would be much easier that way. I'm also still thinking, I'm still confused on what I want to do. Yeah, I'll have to think about that. For now, I probably won't be using this right now. So what I'm going to do is hook this thing up. I'm going to make sure this this actually is providing, oh, I do need to make sure that this thing does provide this computer internet. Otherwise, we're not gonna have great luck. It's not gonna work very well. So since I was off to vacation, I shut everything down. So what I'm gonna do is just completely delete the grub uh, thing, the Debian as well. I'll just move everything back to the main thing there. And man, that doesn't, the power light is causing the entire thing not to focus there. Please wait, I will wait for you. So I got El Capitan running up here. 
just fine. I don't know why Apple decided not to allow this to be a thing. I don't know why they just said, nope, you can't do it. Because it is completely fine. In fact, I'm not gonna even hit about this mag because it will show my serial number. Anyways, personally, I still use this thing for mainly YouTube videos, like for communication and other things. <sighs> so far, it's been doing pretty good. It's at 43% and it won't focus because it never does. Uh, so you can see we're at 43% right now. So quite late tonight, it is 12.40, and it is the last day of summer break at this point. Mm. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. And the thing I like about this iPod mainly is, see how that says 100% here? If I unplug it, it stays at it, which is really nice. Very happy that they fixed that. So it's day two, and so far the iPod Touch hasn't been too hard to use. I mean, it's exactly like my phone, except just without blah, cellular. I was gonna say Wi-Fi there for a second. It's very nice, actually. I actually got emailed. I actually got emailed a survey, a survey, and I'm gonna pull that up here about why I like my iPod Touch. Like Apple, I think is genuine. I didn't sign in yet, did I? Apple is genuinely confused of why I'm buying buying this thing. Baxter. So you can see here, um, this is the email I got. It says, we love feedback. Tell us about your experience with iPod Touch. And now my dog just went inside the bush. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, there. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of interesting actually that they're like, why do you like these? <laughs> I did actually go through the survey, by the way. I just forgot to delete the email. Uh, when I was done. So yeah, I specifically put that I like it because it's later um, if I don't have my phone around. It actually said, um, it says here that you don't, that you have an iPhone along with an iPod. Why do you have an iPod then? <laughs> it's like kind of confused. I said because, I specifically said because it's lighter. It's very thin. It's very nice. It's comfortable to use. My iPhone's heavy. It's still comfortable, but it's kind of it's a little heavy. As well as this device has a good battery, and when my iPhone doesn't have a good battery, then I just use my iPod. Along with now that uh, text message forwarding and things like that are a thing, you can easily just text other people. When my phone battery is low or charging, I can still text my Android friends on this device, which is really nice, actually. Also, beware any iPod Touch 6 users, or iPhone 6, or 5S users, or whatever. Your device will not be getting iOS 13, and that is only in a couple of days, so I would suggest that you upgrade before you get kicked out of the, out of support. So, as much as I said I'd want to record more, I'm sorry I couldn't do that. You can see the time here is 10.33. And it's mainly because, um, I'm gonna unplug my clock here. It's mainly because, um, it was again busy work today, and I guess that makes sense. So, yeah, day three is gonna happen now. So, I just figured out one of the problems that I'm gonna be having here. And that is, I can't listen to music when I'm on the bus or in the car uh, driving to school. And, um... When I was filming my iPod 6 video, it was during the summer and I didn't have school, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Now it is a problem, and I don't know what I'm going to do with that, because I either have to listen to music... I'm just getting my Mac Mini active and ready, which the speaker in it just died. Great. Yeah, so that makes it very difficult for when I want to listen to music, because I have to either use the music app or I have to load a song on SoundCloud, which is what I've been doing. And then I either listen to it once and be done or I have to put it on loop forever, which is really annoying. I apologize for it being quite late already and it is day four, I think. Four. It's probably four or five. I think it may... No, it's four. Um, sorry about it being so late, and jeez, this is bright. Sorry about it being so late here. <sighs> but yeah, I didn't really record much. Uh, I've been, I need to work on a project for school, so that's what I've been trying to do. <sighs> but yeah, using the iPod was great, other than, um, I figured out that my iCloud account got hacked into, and I was away from Wi-Fi. Thank goodness my friends were, or one of my friends let me use their hotspot to let me change my password. Uh, yeah, not fun. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Uh, but yeah, now I've gotta work on a school project. It's just annoying. Just yeah, whatever. It is day. Uh, I accidentally missed a day, and I apologize for that. It is day six currently. I forgot to record anything yesterday because I was kind of had a lot of work, and it was annoying I'm trying to figure out my mom's iPad here. Like, look at this. It's plugged in, and it's not charging. She gave it to me because she got a new one. Now she doesn't need it anymore. 
But, like, this thing isn't even charging. And I think I've gotten it to sync before and it doesn't charge. And look, it's even, it's charging now. Actually, it says unlock iPad to use accessories. So, I assume that it's going to charge. Yes, it does. Okay, cool. I do like the screen on here. It is nice. It's an anti-reflective. And that's my mom's. <laughs> she picked a toad. She's changed it since then. No, photos, you, you get out of here. She wants me to reset it. Oh, well, I'll just say it didn't like this. You can see it's charging now. Didn't like that though. It said find my iPad must be turned off. I mean, it makes sense too because it would lock you out of like a device. Oh gosh, I completely forgot about this process. Now, how have I found the iPod 7? I'm again sorry I skipped a day. I was really busy. There was nothing going on, so there would have been nothing for me to record anyway. <sighs> it's been going really well, actually. I found out that SoundCloud buffers more than one song. I should have known that, and I'm an idiot. But yeah, I'm mad at myself for not knowing that. But yeah, otherwise it's been pretty easy, and I'm very happy that I'm doing the challenge. Actually, I like using iPods and things. Also, the reason why my parents are giving me, or my parents, my mom is giving me her iPad here, is because um. My iPad that I have is a Mini 2, and that doesn't support iOS 13, or sorry, iPad OS 13. This iPad gets it. My old one back here doesn't. It's actually sitting right here. Here it is. This is my old one. Doesn't get it. This iPad, I don't know if it's gonna get fixed after I reinstall stuff, if the battery charge thing will be fixed. Hopefully it is. It is a Saturday, day seven of the iPod challenge, and not too difficult actually to get through this week. It's just annoying because um, my screen on it's so tiny and I can't receive texts and stuff unless I have Wi-Fi. I just pulled up my channel dashboard here and you can see, look at that, 109 subscribers. Seriously guys, I gotta give you a huge thank you. I did not think I'd even get this far <sighs> into um, my YouTube channel. I think that, I kinda felt that I'd be stuck at around 30 or 40, but nope, I've got 109. Um, Thank you guys for that so much because I've always wanted this to kind of be like my job and that would be awesome if I could do that. So thank you guys. So I'm nearly done now and I will be giving a main review on how it went tomorrow so far. I think it was pretty easy. Now I apologize for not having this be as great of a scene right now and that is mainly because school started i've been busy and i've been putting off this editing i just realized i need to do this now so the ipod touch has been really good actually i loved it it was very easy to use the only thing that was difficult was really the Wi-Fi only thing. Made it, it made it very difficult for when I was going to school. It was quite difficult to actually listen to music because I had to load the songs that I wanted to listen to on SoundCloud and I didn't know which ones it would load. So it would be like the first eight in the playlist. And that means after that, I couldn't listen anymore. That's the thing I will say about this though, is that without the Wi-Fi, it was kind of difficult to use stuff. <sighs> I got the hang of it though, and it eventually became not too big of an issue. Now, um, what else did I have pro problems with? Uh, the answer was not as many as with my iPod 6. My iPod 7, this one right here, it had better battery life by far. And that was by a long shot as well. It was just easier to use without having to constantly charge it again. That's mainly because my old iPad, or my old iPod is old obviously, and the battery's not going to retain as much charge as a comparable new iPod 6. If I were to buy one right before the iPod 7 came out, which I really feel bad for people who did that. Yeah, otherwise everything's been pretty cool. Pretty cool. Every so yeah, otherwise everything's been pretty cool um, with this device and with iOS 13, I actually like it quite a bit better. Um, just to know that it's actually getting something that my old iPod doesn't. I'm very happy that I bought this because iOS 13 is right around the corner. Same with iPad OS, which I just got my hands on a new iPad and I will be doing a review on iPad OS compared to the previous iOS 12. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you all later. Bye guys.